Okay, so when we interpret mass spectra, what do we do? We can see what is the molecular weight coming out from this. And we know that when we excite a molecule by removing electrons there, it become you know, cations and radicals. High energy, it will fragment because it's unstable. Remember, high energy means it's unstable, it will break apart, it gets skin, and you break into two fragments. Normally, you have cation and the radical. And which one do we detect? Cation, not the radical. Okay, but then you might think, okay, my left hand and right hand, why is this always a radical? And why is this the cation? No, it does have to be that way, it could be random. So you see, because there's so many randomization of cleavage breaking apart and having cations and radicals, so we know that a mass spectra is characteristics of a kind of molecule and is inherently different for different compounds. So the following here give you uh, the mass spectrum of hexane, okay, molecular weight of 86. So you see here, one of the highest peak is 86, equal M plus because you only detect cations, right? Structure, linear chain, and these are very strong peaks detected. Relative abundance, 57 highest, followed by 43 and 29, and there's also 171. So what these are is, when you have a cation, it will break apart and the mz value becomes these numbers in red. Now let's take a closer look of what these numbers mean. Okay, Now hexane, once we change it to a cation here, still 86, we are not using any atom, no fragmentation yet, just using one electron become positively charged. Highly energized, so there's several ways we can cut this molecular ion. So if you cut here, right, we cut methyl group away, methyl group is worth 15. So we minus 15, we get 71. So we lost a methyl radical from it, and we generate this ion here. Now if we cut the next carbon, right, from the beginning, we are losing 29, and 29 is always characteristics of a C. 2H5 part, the eta radical, and if you choose to cut it right in the middle, it becomes symmetrical, we are losing 43. 43 represents a proper radical. Right. So hence, we have these numbers here. And how do we get 57? 57 is when we, when we cut away the eta group, okay, 57. So it all matches up here. And you might ask, what makes 57, the butyl cations, the highest relative abundance? Base peak. It's by probability how stable it is and how likely it can form. Now some common functional groups you can find and tell from the mass spectra is your alcohol and amine. They're very similar because both of them can undergo alpha cleavage. Okay, you cut the first bond of the carbon that that has your OH or the nitrogen group there. Okay, because after doing this mechanism, you get an alkyl radical, the RCH two dot, and the other fragment which is a cation. And this kind and this cation is very special because it can resonate between two canonical structures. Basically, to some of us two resonant structures, which means you have low energy that can be split between two or more structures. You see, the electrons here adjacent to this carbon, positively charged cation, can form double bond here and there, so it's stable, and hence you likely to form, and hence alpha cleavage is favored for this functional group. If you take a look at this alcohol, your propanol, don't drink it, if you drink it, you can't survive for long, we bombard electron, we get mz value of 60, that's the main molecular ion, and then we do fragmentation. How can we get 59? 59 is when we lose a hydrogen atom, and what remains is your cation here, 59. So we always look at our reference value, which is a molecular ion peak, the mz, which is the maximum 60. We look at the difference between the next highest peak, and you see what has been lost. Minus 1 means hydrogen. And here, what's the difference? 60 minus 31. And ha, aha, you recall, we lost 29. 29 indeed is your ethyl fragment. So, you see, we lost the 29, we get 31. CH2OH+. 
and other functional group, your ketones and aldehydes, they belong to the carbonyl series. When we have the alpha cleavage of the bond between the first atom, there's a CO double bond, and the side chain, we have an alkyl radical, and what remains again, it has a resonance structure, this part here. So let's analyze the simplest form of ketone, the acetone or propanone, three carbon ketone, the first member in this homologous series. MZ value, 58. The next highest peak, the base peak, highest abundance, 43. What has been lost? 15. 15 reminds you of CH3, methyl. And the next peak, 15, indeed. So we cut at the junction right here. There's a chance that the 15, which belongs to the methyl, could become a radical or a cation. So if it becomes a cation, we show up as 15. And if it becomes a radical, the other part becomes the cation, and that's worth 43. So I hope we get this logic. We cut up a bond, you have got two fragments. One of them becomes cations, the other becomes the radical. And we can have both cases, but one is higher than the other because of the stability of the products. So you can tell that why is 53 base peak higher than the one that's 15? Because you compare this whole entity contains your metal radical and this CH3CO plus ion. This energy must be lower than this group's energy. When you have a metal radical, pardon, when you have a metal cation, very unstable, nothing stabilizes it, so overall energy is very high, less likely to be formed than the first case, and hence the relative ratio.